Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our ISTQB AI tester certification. We are in chapter 4 talking about the data for ML models and we are continuing ahead with our next segment today which is 4.3 the data quality issues. Of course, so far we have understood a lot about what exactly it takes to prepare and use the data for ML models and certainly these preparations and activities are not without the challenges what we face. And of course there are several set of issues which we need to kind of like overcome in order to make sure that it all fits the required purpose and does meet the desired expectations of our required set of data. Thus, there are certain common issues which one can face while working on preparing for the required set of data for the entire process of training ML model. And here are a few list of items which we want to discuss and share with you, which would make more sense that, hey, what exactly I need to be aware of when I'm talking about preparing ML model data set. So typical quality issues related to data in the data set include but are not limited to as shown in the following table. So here are a few of the items but of course we understand this is just a very very uh, confined list of uh, common issues what we have analyzed in past but in reality there could be many more challenges. So the few of them are number one wrong data, the capture data was incorrect or entered incorrectly which means like you know through a faulty sensor being you know captured incorrectly or it could be a copy paste errors too or typographical errors certainly there are a lot of things which we may have to take into account in order to say that my data is really appropriate incomplete data where data values may be missing which means field in a record may be empty or the data for the particular time interval may have been omitted now these, there can be various reasons for incomplete data including security issues, hardware issues and human error. Now of course we do understand hardware issues, uh, resource unavailability, human error, human is error prone and security issues of course that sometimes from some fields are personal identification information and that cannot be captured or restricted to you know retrieve those values. Mislabeled data, of course, we have learned about what is labeling a data now. So there could be a possible reason that data can be mislabeled and wrong data is being used again. Talking about insufficient data, which is could be a common reason again because we have learned in our right previous tutorial that sometimes we may not have enough data what we really need to have. So insufficient data is available for patterns to be recognized by the learning algorithm in use which means note that the minimum requirement quantity of the data will vary for different algorithms. So it's not standard that what amount of data do you really need for every kind of ML model but according to the ML algorithms you really need to know what is the sufficient amount of data. Data not pre-processed which is a very prerequisite for uh, the data preparation. Data should be pre-processed to ensure it is clean in a consistent format and contains no unwanted outliers. Absolute data, uh, which is like absolute data, data used for both learning and prediction should be current as possible because outdated data could be, of course, uh, giving the results as outdated too. So something which is latest and recent would be the most magnificent list of data what you can have to train your model which includes using financial data from several years ago may well lead to inaccurate results and the list continues for sure we got unbalanced data unbalanced data may result from inappropriate biases which means based on races gender or ethnicity poor placement of sensors which means facial recognition cameras placed at a ceiling height, <laughs> variability in the availability of data set and differing motivations of data suppliers. So depending on psychology and suppliers mindset, you may have different expectations and thus we put this all into a category called as unbalanced data, which certainly makes one sense for sure that not everything is exactly what you really need, but you do have several other expectations. Unfair data, which means fairness is subjective quality characteristics, but can often be identified. For example, to support diversity for 
or gender gender balancing selected data may be positively biased towards minorities or disadvantages group note that such that such data may be considered fair but may not be balanced so point again is like the perception of the people can define the fair but to certain extent i can identify that what kind of audience am i targeting when we talk about usability testing we do mention that we know what our target audience are but still make that statement that our audience is very very diverse and they may be having different and several new expectations from the product but still we keep a baseline to make sure that we know what they are looking at and how to best support them similarly here too we are talking about having a fair set of data to make sure that uh, we understand what exactly should be the required output duplicate data which is a common issue no matter which type of application you're talking about where repeated data records may unduly influence the result and ml model also irrelevant data data that is not relevant to the problem being addressed may adversely influence the result and may lead to wasting resources for example if you want the ml model to identify the dogs and the data set what you're using is cats privacy issues of course uh, data restrictions and uh, data security is equally important at this point of time too so any data you should respect the relevant data privacy laws including gdpr with relation to individuals personal and information in the european union and last but not the least of course security issues which is fraudulent or misleading data that has been deliberately inserted into the training data may lead to inaccuracies in the trained model so any kind of flaws in the data could be considered as a security reason or kind of injection of any kind of you know faulty viruses or what we refer that like which can really turn around the meaning of an expected outcome would be a really considered to be a security issues with respect to the data set anyways uh, these are some of the examples as we told you in advance that we have identified so far with respect to several other projects but it may be possible there are many other hiding underneath so well, while you start working and you get started implementing such things you may experience some other problems too and that should also be kept in mind to make sure that the data sets are really really appropriate so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning